Florida, a beautiful place to be. But best of all, it has beautiful beaches. These beaches are homes to one of the most gentle animals of this world, sea turtles. Sea turtles are one of the Earth's most gentle, longest living creatures. But there's a problem. Sea turtles are unable to live the way they did 150 million years ago. They are being hunted, killed, and collected for their meat, shells, and beauty. And the worst part is, there has been a major decline in the number of sea turtles roaming the oceans freely today. Sea turtles are in danger, and some species even critically in danger. There are seven species of sea turtles. Loggerhead, flatback, olive ridley, hawksbill, green turtle, kemp's ridley, and the leatherback. Sea turtles eat mostly sea plants and fish. They eat algae, seagrass, and their favorite, jellyfish. Sea turtles love eating jellyfish, but unfortunately, many people throw plastic bags or trash in the ocean, and sea turtles mistake the trash for food. If the trash gets into their digestive tract, they can get really sick and even die. Trash isn't the only threat to sea turtle survival. The engines on boats can cut off flippers, and sea turtles can get trapped in fishing nets. If they get trapped in fishing nets underwater for too long, they can drown and die. And building lights confuse sea turtle hatchlings. A female sea turtle nests two to ten times during the nesting season. Each time they lay 80 to 120 eggs. When a female sea turtle lays her eggs, she returns to the same beach she was born on. After about 60 days, the sea turtles will hatch. They will climb out of the nest and crawl to the ocean. Although 80 to 120 sea turtles may have hatched, only one in every 1,000 sea turtles end up making it to adulthood. There are so many obstacles a hatchling has to overcome in order to make it to the ocean alive. If a sea turtle doesn't crawl to the ocean fast enough, they could die of dehydration or get eaten by a bird, crab, or other predator. On top of all those obstacles, there is the confusion caused by condolites. A sea turtle follows the brightest light, hoping that it will lead them to the ocean. Usually that light is the moon, but sometimes condos along the beach leave their lights on during the night. Some sea turtles follow the condo lights, which lead them to the opposite direction of the moon. Sea turtles are in great danger. Luckily, there are sea turtle hospitals out there. They are designed to rescue and rehabilitate injured or sick sea turtles, and I was fortunate enough to visit one. I saw four different species of sea turtles that were injured or sick. From that visit, I could really tell that sea turtles need our help. Sea turtles are an amazing creature and part of an important ecosystem. That ecosystem is the ocean. If sea turtles become extinct, the impact could be crucial to the world's oceans. For more info on the impacts of sea turtle extinction and other interesting information about these amazing creatures, you can visit the following websites www.conserveturtles.org and www.theturtlehospital.org. There's ways you can help preserve the decreasing population of sea turtles and even help boost the population in the future. For those of us who live near a beach or vacation to places with beaches, here's how you can help. Don't throw trash on the beach. Don't release helium balloons into the air. They end up in the ocean. Turn out lights that could be seen from the beach. Don't touch any hatchlings when they are trying to swim into the ocean. You can even adopt a sea turtle online. It took some time before humans realized what we have done to sea turtles. But if we think fast and start helping now, we just might be able to save them.